Hi YouTube, this is one of a series of videos looking at the documentary A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon, produced by Bart Sabrell. You will hear me mention him quite a lot. Check out my channel for other videos in the series, or for the box set where you can watch them all in one feature length video. Part 6, Blowing Flags. Next we look at the classic claim that flags planted on the moon can be seen blowing in the wind and later the claim that there are no photographs showing astronauts' faces taken on the moon. First though, Mr Sabrell has a problem with the cost of developing the lunar rover. The cost of the three moon rovers in 21st century currency? Nearly 60 million dollars each. Though they had fewer parts than a jeep. Where was all this money going? Then there's the flag blowing in the wind, at least twice, on the atmosphereless moon. We can only guess that most of the missions were staged inside for fear of possible aerial or satellite reconnaissance from an unfriendly nation. The backpacks, designed for one-sixth gravity, must have had the cooling systems removed to allow for movement without falling over. With very near and hot studio lighting, that left one hot astronaut inside. Assuming that it was the astronauts inside, after all, their faces were always covered. The necessary mammoth amounts of air conditioning were probably responsible for the air current. Here the editor cuts to a still shot of the flag, just as the effect becomes noticeable. Here it is unchecked. This rare clip attained decades ago, was never re-released with the inevitable increase in experience and scrutiny. Firstly, four lunar rovers were built and seven test rovers, not three. Although the development cost sounds expensive, it's actually very cheap when compared with the development costs of other vehicles. For instance, Volkswagen estimate the development cost of their latest Golf generation at $1.2 billion dollars, while BMW spent $800 million developing their 7 Series. So to develop and test a vehicle with the unique requirements of the Lunar Rover at this price really can't be seen as anything other than a good deal for NASA. The first clip shown is from the colour TV camera on the Lunar Rover of Apollo 17, and we are told that the editor cuts to a still shot of the flag just as the effect becomes noticeable. We have to assume that the editor that Sibrell is referring to is himself, because the clip is easily available without this still flag image inserted. We also hear both astronauts talk about the flag waving effect. Maybe it'll, uh, that's what looks like it's waving in a breeze. Yes, sir. How about right there? Hey, well, it does wave when you do that. We got a beautiful picture of you guys up down there. Let me tell you, Bob, this flag is a beautiful picture. The second clip, which we are told is rare and was obtained decades ago, again is easy to find and is from the 16mm data acquisition camera of Apollo 14. And because the camera was set to expose one frame per second, it is running at the wrong speed. Here it is with the speed corrected. The Apollo lunar flag assembly consisted of a telescoping tubular flagpole that was shoved or hammered into the lunar soil. At the top of this pole was a hinged horizontal support that locked into place and kept the flag in a flying position. We can see this assembly has some spring to it, so when the flag is deployed it flaps back and forth as if it is wavy. With no atmosphere on the moon to dampen this movement, it continues to wave for a little while, sometimes when the astronaut is no longer touching the flagpole. We can see from this image of the flag assembly before it was packed, the rippled folds of the flag that make it appear to be fluttering in still images. We can also find many examples from multiple photos and from video which show the flag absolutely static. What happened to Sabrell's massive amounts of air conditioning for these shots? Usually the astronauts work with the gold-plated helmet visor down. 
But there are occasions, for instance when they have been working in shadow, when they raised the visor and were caught on film. Here are some examples. In part 7 we look at the TV that was broadcast from the moon and investigate the claim that slow motion was used to create the effect of lunar gravity. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe.